of months ago, I purchased and received a package from my buddies at Soch and Hygiene and You. Uh, they are based in India and uh, I got several goodies so I broke down the videos into separate videos. Um, just to recap, I received um, the Wings Cup, the V Cup, the Period Panty plus an insert, some extra inserts, reusable cloth pads, and a set of interlabial cloth leaves. All of the cloth goodies were made by the owner of Soch. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I know that many of you were interested and wanted more information in the Stone Soup Wings Menstrual Cup, so I'm going to cover that cup today. I'm going to take you down to the table, do a quick unboxing, show you what you get with the cup, and then give you some information about the cup itself. So let's go. First of all, check out these cups and the other goodies that I mentioned at the Soch Green website and Hygiene and You website. I will leave both of those links in the description below. Before I go into uh, the information about the cup, you will notice here that the two labels uh, that close the box down um, are different colors. So one is blue and one is green. These cups come in different firmnesses and you don't get to choose the color of the cup. Uh, the colors indicate what firmness you have purchased. You'll also notice that when I turn the box to this side, it is labeled right here with which firmness you received. At the time of my purchase, there was only two options in the firmnesses, which was the soft version and the regular version. However, checking back with the website, I noticed that they added one more version, which will be the firmest of all three. And I believe that will be a yellow cup. Measuring this cup, I came out with 51 millimeters in total length. The diameter was 45. And while I filled the cup up with water to the very top and created a little bubble dome with it, it came out to 30 milliliters. The most noticeable thing about this cup is that it lacks a stem. You don't find a whole bunch of these stemless cups available on the market. So if you're looking for a menstrual cup without a stem, here's one option. You still have three grip rings right on the base of the cup and they are rounded. They're not very raised off of the cup, uh, but they do have a good grip. Since these cups are softer, you do have an easier time pinching it and uh, getting a good grasp on the base of the cup. I do like that they uh, put this grip ring kind of lower down or higher up, depending on the way that you're looking at it, but uh, lower down in this position um, on this rounded area. Sometimes I find that if there are grip rings just right around where the stem would be, I kind of surpass that and uh, miss it when I'm trying to remove my cup. So those grip rings are kind of useless if they're right here at the base. Uh, I'm not going to pinch the cup right there. I'm going to reach up a little bit higher. The silicone of this cup is kind of that squishy, gummy, uh, type of silicone so it's really soft and it kind of feels like like a gummy bear if you were to squeeze on a gummy bear uh, that's the feeling of the silicone so it does have uh, a good uh, grip to it uh, if I pinch down on it and pull my fingers they don't slide really easily off of this cup but it is dry at this time so if and when it's wet it might act a little differently. 
There is one seam that's on this cup and it's right on the outside of the rim. Uh, they didn't clean it up a whole bunch. There is a little lip on it. I can uh, feel the silicone kind of just shifting back and forth underneath my fingertips. There is uh, some little bits of silicone that are a little um, sticking out there, but they're soft enough where they're not going to bother me. But just know that it's there if you're sensitive to those things. There are four air holes around this cup and they are equally spaced. So there's one here and one here and then on these sides. Uh, these I would consider pinholes. They're teeny tiny and they are set kind of far down from the rim of the cup. The holes have a very slight diagonal to them. The outside would be the highest point and the inside would be the lower point, but it's very, very slight. The outside of this cup doesn't have any other markings besides the grip rings. However, the inside has a few things printed in here. On one side, it has the website for um, stone soup and it goes across the rim. I'll see if I can zoom in on that. Anyhow, it reads www.stonesoup.in and here is the inside shot of that. And right here is their logo. It is on the inside, but you can see it from the outside. And if I turn it, you can see that they uh, put it in there again. So this cup does have a flared rim and I find that uh, cups with a flared rim tend to ride up and sit higher than uh, the V-shaped cups or the cups with a regular style of rim. Also, approximately where the air holes are, the silicone starts to get thicker until you hit that uh, top of the flared rim. I think these cups would be great for someone with a medium to low cervix. However, I have a high cervix and I was able to use them just fine. If you do have a high cervix like I do and you are using this cup, you just need to bear down a little bit more uh, to be able to reach the cup easier when you're removing it. Both of the cups in the soft and the regular are pretty soft cups. Um, I did have some issues getting the softer one to open, but uh, just a little bit finessing and I was able to get it to open. Uh, I do find that these have a, a pretty good um, seal or create a pretty good seal or suction uh, around my cervix because the air holes are smaller. But since they are softer cups, I am able to reach up and just kind of collapse the side of the cup to break that seal before I remove it. Well, that's all I have for now about this Stone Soup Wings Menstrual Cup. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also, leave me a comment down below if you were interested in picking up one of these cups because it doesn't have a stem. Until I see you next time, take care.